Ah, welcome back. Uh, we are playing uh, thick. We're playing Dang and Ropa today. I couldn't think of anything funny, uh, but um, yeah, it's 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 going well. We uh, so last episode we got the fourth floor. We checked some stuff out, and uh, we were all talking about stuff. Kyoko, Kyoko, <laughs> Kikio, Kyoko's mad at us because we didn't uh, tell her our theory about Sakura, who we saw was fighting Monokuma, and who seemed to be agreeing about some sort of deal, uh, but we passed out. Um, I guess on the way, but we saw that, went back to our room, passed out, met in the dining hall, and we were trying to figure out what was going on with Sakura alone, but we couldn't, couldn't, uh, she was with, she was with Aoi, so we couldn't do anything. Um, but now we're, uh, we just had to go take a mixed bath with everybody, uh, to, um, uh, to try and, um, because Biaku, you learned something from Alter Ego. And because Alter Ego said that by tomorrow, uh, like yesterday, he said that, by today, the day in the game, I mean, fuck, um, that he might have the last file worked out. So we're going to see what's going on. Um, yeah, so it's fucking thick, happy havoc. I fucking love that. That's really good, actually. I'm just, uh, I'm plugging this into the back of my computer so this can pop out. Uh. All right. Uh. Oh, my God. Uh, was my computer... Let me just play this. Hold on. No. It'll, uh, sometimes it just doesn't work right away. Let me do it again. We're all working out, baby. I'm cutting this out of the recording, I guess. I don't fucking know. Ugh. Am I plugging it into the right thing? Is that... No, I'm fucking not. What the... F oh! Alright, I'm just gonna pause the recording. I'm still gonna stream. Let me just do this. Hey everybody, guess what? I fucked the fucking dog. Uh, I, I paused the recording and I forgot to unpause it. So we are just gonna go through everything. I spent about 15 minutes, I think, um, talking, doing this next scene. So we're gonna we're gonna go for it. You missed all my funny, one-y, widow comment, yowie, yowie, but that's that's okay with me. Let's fucking tear it up. All right, I'm gonna speed through this. So you're, you're getting the fucking abridged version. Well, not really. When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here? What a, 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 did you decide to come here? What Alter Ego had to, has What's to say too? I already heard it with Master. With Master? Oh. You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me, you stupid fucking bitch. Get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. Whack. No, no, I made a p p p promise. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> the live action anime version. A promise. Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? Kinda. It's what Master wants. I'll do anything he asks. Even cake farting. Uh, you just love being mistreated. Well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. <laughs> hey, guys. What's going on? Uh, well, we'd like you to move. Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. Where's the mega masochist? No, super sadist. Uh, you pretty much talked to everybody. Kyoko was the only one that was kind of... Actually, let's talk to everybody. <laughs> Listen, Kyoko, about that picture from before. She's been very thorough about pretending I don't exist. Nice, okay. What about you, Yasuhiro? What do you have to say? Well, guess we have no choice but to use force. The shot to the face would stand out, so go for the gut. But she's a girl. Who cares? I've already got a mountain of lawsuits waiting for me when I get out. What's one more? Honestly, I like that thinking. Bah! Um, hey, Afro Thunder, don't get any bright ideas, okay? You're totally not adorable, so I'll make sure you live when I stab you, but it'll hurt like hell. Uh, um... I'm strong against women and children, but not women and children that seem strong. This guy's the worst. COVID. Um... What the heck? Whatever it is, I really don't want to have to beg her. Come on, Makoto, just do saying? it. Why has it got to be me, is what it says. It's fine, it's not the end of the world if you just beg a little, but the same just goes for you. No, it would be the end of the world for me. And he was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you sound like a little kid right now, stupid motherfucker. Sakura's like, well, she's essentially our opponent right now. I'm not sure I trust you to keep her word even if we did do what she asked. Time to break those legs. <laughs> um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely. Let us, let us use the laptop. Use the laptop. Hmm? <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I chose a kneel and bank. Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo. One, drop your knees. Two, beseech. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her, and I said, please, I'm begging you, will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> oh, Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent-up anger with the master for abusing me is evaporating. Oh. So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. 
Okay. All right, let's go. Let's fucking clickety clack 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 on that lap pap 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 top. Everyone, come closer. I made a joke here where it's like they all gather on the laptop and then it goes <gasps> and it explodes. It was honestly fucking top ten, but you know you'll never see it now. I already told Biaku yet, but let's finally be able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have to keep you all waiting. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has uh, come. Um, ah, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands started to shake. A second. Move, you dumb hoe. A single word was like a sharp and blad. Whom did I move to let her take over? So then. Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Sure, I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact that I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here to isolate the students of Hopus Peak Academy and to create a communal life for them. That was the stage goal of the plan, but it was meant to be more than just a normal high school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. <laughs> That's Let's see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was none other than the administrators of Hope's Peak Academy themselves. What? Wait, hold on. There's a reason. Then the reason we've been in prison here isn't. <sighs> All right, let's let's. Let's get back going. It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No it was the school itself. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do Just that? I don't think Alter Ego is finished. That's Perhaps right. we should listen to what they have to say. It seems the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened uh, one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Mm -hmm. Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope Speak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. It was the biggest, it was it was human history. It wasn't just the school. That's what I was thinking before. It's human history. It's a big event in human history that fucked this place up. But it's fucked everything up. I see things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, th this thing, this tragedy took place. Whatever it was, it forced Hope Speak Academy to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging That's ground. Right. They planned to sequester the students here where they would live with the rest of their lives. So, um, but why would the Hope Speak Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like hey. that? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? I made a joke, about, uh, you know, in a flash, Kyoko had typed the questions into the computer. Bop! Yeah, the answer we got sorry. was, sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now, BB. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and Indeed. that's it? It would appear so disappointing. Oh, wait! No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope Speak Academy staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope Speak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. Ooh, and according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely that he's somewhere in this school right now. Missing common knowledge. Um, the headmaster? Is here in the school? Yeah, Kyoko's freaked out. Look at those fucking, look at that motherfucker. Then that's got to be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself, himself the headmaster, Perhaps. right? Which makes the real headmaster that much more You're suspicious. Serious. It was more sus. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed I... to do? I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Yeah. And we were like, Kyoko, holy shit. She's getting fucking, she's getting purple. Huh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find no the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko. What the fuck's going on, motherfucker? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. Okay, she has to. Uh, ooh, Coco, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then, we should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. I'm really saw we. Then it really is all over. Wait, shut the fuck up. Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um, um, well, <laughs> it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about uh, something. I haven't seen Celeste Fumi Yutaka since yesterday. This is where we this is where we ended up. So we can regain our composure. Welcome back to the ASMR reading of <laughs> Oh, honestly, no, I don't blame her for being salty. She is still she is still best girl. She's so cer certainly, certainly the sweetest, certainly the best. Sorry, I was checking the camera, not staring to your soul or anything. Um, I haven't seen Celeste Hafumi or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat 
precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. <laughs> They're all dead. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Peek the shit out of that mic. I see, but certainly I knew that was a possibility, okay, but then. it really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. It's an interesting way to look at it, I guess. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. It is what it is. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> Cooker's like, Cooker's like, K -k -k -k. you're done. <laughs> Kills Ch Chihiro for the second time. Let Salty Kyoko step on me. Crush my fucking, uh, crush my fucking face with your legs, with your feet. Legs is, legs sounds, legs is, is, there's a little bit more innuendo behind when you say legs. Even feet. I'm just gonna drop that one. I'm done. I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. then maybe I'll take a little rest. <laughs> Chihiro's dying twice. Fuck, <laughs> he's dying twice. <laughs> I'm kind of towy. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, fuck, man. See you later. TTYL. Last online five years ago. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. And then Sakura fucking suplexed it. So Walter Ego did everything he Indeed. could. We won't have to talk to him at all. I'll talk to him all that much but. anymore. But I feel kind of sorry for him. But. You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well. I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, hmm. you know? I mean, yeah, it did, but that what a computer that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Maybe you should. Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. <laughs> I'm the imposter! <laughs> Sky! <laughs> I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on, it's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? Listen, Mr. Fucking Clairvoyant. I don't know who, who Mrs. Voyant is. I don't care that her first name is Claire. Maybe you need to take a step back. But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, huh? really? Eh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person a person and an AI. Alter ego is inhuman. I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think... Maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> and then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? That? Check this out. Friendship is, has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... Hmm, that's cool. So anyway. What? 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 So anyway, that. It's totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Kyoko just hit him with a damn. That's crazy. Hey. Uh, anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No but. You have no but. Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. You know, not wrong, Kyoko. Do you really mean that? Wait. Uh, the story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more uh, time. Um... Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? what? Why are they making us kill each other? Mm. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. I remember reading about that, wasn't it? It was in that letter in the library. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Piss. You really do. He really is. At the very least. <laughs> little cinnamon roll. <sighs> if nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. After fucking everything. Heck? Everything you've gone through. What's wrong with our government? Our pay, our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open to so... us. We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think 
Kyoko, when she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well, but even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um. Oh, yeah, good idea. Then I... Nice. <laughs> is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. <laughs> Biaki is going to be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um. Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Oh, it's Hifumi. Ba -bam, ba -bam. Oh, it's Monokuma. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. Oh, it's pounding me. with anger. Okay. <laughs> You're not so mad about that whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? <laughs> oh, that little matter doesn't matter. That little matter doesn't matter even a little. <laughs> that was fucking Shakespearean in the level of stupid wit. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an in indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel it building. No, My really head's about to angry. boil over with rage. <laughs> Please. Don't get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. Boom, boom. It's just on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. <laughs> an eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang. <laughs> Be careful. He just chanted the incantation of Def devastation. <laughs> no, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talk? What's he talking about? <laughs> Sakura's like, I don't know. Someone to die tonight? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. <laughs> It is now 10 a.m. such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. PM. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Diem. Good night, sleep tight. Diem. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I certainly won't. I'll do my best. Correct. Damn, my smooth brain. <laughs> so it's night time. Hey. Uh, what does everyone want to do? Celeste was the only one who suggested a nighttime rule, but she's gone now. True, honestly, that's actually true. I forgot mm. that wasn't an actual rule. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that uh, way. Um, I agree. It's true. Very well then, pussies. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Yeah. Oh, we haven't been, I feel like we haven't been in our room in a long time. Once I was back to my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around, round and round in my mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy, which had happened over a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. It's a good book, and I have to read it. Monokuma Theater. This stuff I always take for granted, too. I never really think about it. Let's talk a bit about where I was before I became a bear. Fair enough. What do we got? We got a gun? What is that? Yeah, we got a gun. Yep. We got a console. We got a mm, uh, gavel. We got a race car. Some scissors. Looks like glue. Baby doll with blinking eyes. That's fucking terrible. Mirror, school thing in the background. Little waving calendar, globe, and we got our favorite, a crab. And I don't know what the fuck that thing is on the, the things that look like pancakes with like some golden butter on top. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about a bit more, but a bit of before. But, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, as long as it doesn't spoil anything, I'm 100% down. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's really, it's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger pawn, prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp that's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Plus, something, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady started laughing at me. She was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear and instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma.
Dojin. Where I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> ah! Na 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 na. Dojin Shi are works that are not based off of. Uh... Oh. Well, so he actually does, he's not, he actually just makes his own stuff. That's interesting. Oh, cool. Little factoid. Well, thank you for the little factoid. I appreciate it. I like it. I like it. And that's the secret order story, Monokuma. Let's do it. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and night. Good nine hours over. of sleep. Time Solid. To rise and shine. Get you ready got it. To greet another beautiful day. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. First things first, gotta take a shit. This fucking lint roller. It's my lint roller. I haven't used it since then. Ah, but I did find a coin. Ten coins. Goddamn, we're fucking lush. Uh, Saki uses nose pad to try and lure Leon to his death. There's no point thinking about that now. That was an eon ago, man. That was a Leon ago. Nope. Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, big plaque on the wall. I just want to check all this, maybe. Nope, I thought there was one there. I have to admit it, I kind of got used to sleeping here. <laughs> Shit, man. Why the fuck not? It's a trash can. It's also the secret to my riches. <laughs> Nekumaru. Nekomaru. Nekomaru. In two. I fucking hope so. I'm interested. I've never thought this one. But thanks to Smell Plate. Nope, no coin there as well. Fuck my ass. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the new characters. And meet the new people. Uh, and all that jizzle jazzle. Okay, well, anyway, that was fun. Let's head the fuck out. Taking a shit a lot. Man, a man after my own fucking heart. Honestly, um, I normally am uh, pretty vocal about my fucking shits, but uh, I, I've, I've not toned it down, I would say, but definitely, uh, definitely uh, don't talk about as much. There he is, my big boy. Whoa, Makoto! Oh, why do you sound so surprised? Sorry about that. It's just, if you'd gotten here even a minute earlier, it would have cost me a few more minutes. It would have cost me a few more minutes off my life. What? You know? Why? Because Kyoko, like, just left. Kyoko. You're serious. You know, Makoto, when a guy and a girl go at it, it shortens the lives of the people who have to watch it happen How too. About that? And since it's me saying it, you know it's true. So, like, hurry up and make Yo. it better. Anyway, see you at breakfast, dum dum. That's easy for him to say, but what am I supposed to do? My girlfriend. I mean, uh, no, we're not. Uh. Everyone's beat up the dining hall. I should head there myself. Looks like asteroids. Pew, 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 pew. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Owie? Good morning, Hina. Um, morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday, you were kind of cool, huh? What do you mean? Yeah. You know, when you said Alter Ego was your friend, so, um... I was thinking the same thing. When stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm you thinking. Got it. So I'm really glad you said it for me. So, thanks. Eh. What do you think Kyoko's ultimate is? Ultimate fucking purple girl. Ultimate fucking shit taker. Ultimate fucking... Ugh. I think she's the ultimate... Ultimate best friend. She's the ultimate... Um. What the fuck is Kyoko's ultimate? I had this theory where she was like the ultimate unlucky student or something. Um, and because it was like, uh, just because of the, the duality with, with Makoto being the luckiest student. Ultimate cutie. Shit, that must be it. You, you're welcome. Yeah. You're usually like totally normal. When the time comes, bam, you bust out your special power. I mean, I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like you always do something about it. 
even before yesterday. Are you talking about the class trials and stuff? I mean, that stuff is just, it just kind of took care of itself, you know? It, it totally um... didn't. With your power and Sakura's and everyone else, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think okay. you're right. I am right. I am right? All right. Now that I've got that fighting spirit, let's go get some grub. She's right. Even if the road is long, if we don't keep on moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. Okay. Very interesting. Interesting to know. Byakuya. What do you Togami. want? What do you want? Um, well, the breakfast menu. That's enough. You honestly expect me to go? Right. Oh, as long as I'm here, I should ask Byakuya what he made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no. I better not. The surveillance camera catches for what? sure. So. Oh, um, well. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, he's gone. And that was that. Okay. Oh, well. Mad Hatter 1G. Thank you. Oh, I keep looking over here for my camera. Thank you for so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Hello. Thank you for following. Thank you. Wow. Wow. So good. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. I don't know. I know what to do. When people follow, I'm just kind of like, wow. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. Oh, yeah, Toko. What are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What's your problem? What? You think your eyes were just rot by looking at me? If fine, but you don't look at me. Uh, uh, I think he's just, uh, I think he's just surprised to see the breakfast meeting is all. I don't know. I just want to thank people. I don't know. That's what it'd be. It's in my nuts, I guess. Who's to say? This doesn't make any sense. Indeed. Oh, did Leon have to die? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? Biaki said he <laughs> likes girls to ha likes a girl to have some meat on her bones. So, do you really say that? No, I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I dr okay. drop. I refuse to yeah. lose. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Oh, after I leave, I didn't even register that. Well, great. I know I said, I know I said, uh, <laughs> rip leet. I know I said she, I know I said she wanted you to show some back. Holy fuck. I know I said she wanted you to. Sh Am I okay? What the fuck's going on? All right. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dirtlandia. Shit, we were just having such a sweet conversation outside, and this is what you do to me? You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> just sh shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. <laughs> filthy? Me? Don't make me <laughs> repeat myself. <laughs> I'm not filthy. I swim a lot. It's no use denying it, but we can all see how disgusting huh? you are. <laughs> Shut up. Uh... You and that lusty body of yours. Jesus, Toko, what the fuck's going on? I thought it was only a genocide joke kind of thing. Night after night, you go out for your illicit c club meetings. Oh. Hey, hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight <laughs> sextracurricular activities. Holy fuck. Fuck! Only put us in even more danger. S stop it. What the fuck is going on? You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat shock t -t tight. Going for all that extra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated blackboard. And, and, and it's amazing. Indecent ideas are coming to me one after another. She's that kind of romance novel. Okay. So would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Mm. Sakura. Gotta fucking love her. Yes. Sorry. Hey, come on. Let's leave Toko alone. She's got a little funny from all her pent-up frustration. Know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible, but everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. But for anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Uh, let's hit up Toko. What's you doing? What you thinking of? Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. 
If you want to hit, hit someone, hit master. Please hit him. Oh, please let me watch you hit him. Whew, I think it's best if I stay far, far away from her. Yeah, honestly. What's up, Hiwo? <laughs> Cheer up, man. It's not a big deal if a girl doesn't like ya. It's better than having one sue ya, like I did. Jeez, Hiro, you've lived a pretty brutal life. He's slapped a couple women, I think. You know? Huh? In my, if I'm good to believe it. Ugh, I feel all dizzy. Seriously can't handle dirty stuff like that. Looks like Hina had an unexpected weakness. Um, I feel another piss coming on. I can feel it in my... I mean, I actually can feel it in my nuts. I'm going to save. I don't, I don't want to last. When did I, when did I save last? Total four. No, no, no. Five minutes have passed. No, 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 bitch. We got to overwrite that shit. All right. King Sakadok. Um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, now that Kyoko dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. Are right, you and Heat Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they've got the right equipment. Just the worst. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild's beast of Beastopia. He's become fuckboy Makoto. Why is this happening to well. me? Can our talk wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. She's she's finna die. You finna die, baby. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that? Yeah, it is, bitch. It must be because of that battle. Um... But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? He's having a bad few fucking mm. days. I don't, yeah. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it! That's true. Protein is good for all kinds hey. of stuff. You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god okay. or something. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. N yeah, g got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you stupid bitch. You know? Well, for now, let's eat, baby. Eat. I'm kind of nervous. Huh? huh? How come? Mm -hmm. Your I could mangle. I could absolutely mangle a Subway sub right now. I could mangle two Subway subs. In university, I used to get two steak and cheese subs, and I would, um, I, uh, I'd, I'd get them at like our. My residence was. I was very lucky because my residence is very close to the cafeteria, so I, I was probably like a twenty minute, like a not twenty minutes, but like a five minute walk from where the subway was. Mm. It was fucking dangerous, and I used to get two steak and cheeses, and I would put one. I would put one in my arm like this, uh, underneath the sleeve, and then I'd put the other one inside my coat, and I'd hold it up like that, and I'd walk all the way fucking back to my room. And I bet a lot of people thought I was carrying a fucking gun and getting ready to uh, hit that place up. He needs more balls. He needs meatballs. Meatball sub. Subway. Because I, I, I don't usually eat in front of other people. Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by, 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 by myself. What about your family? Oh, well, yeah, I used to live with my dad and my mom. I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. That's like a serious issue. <sighs> well, I just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that <laughs> disgusting mouth of yours? <gasps> Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. What are we gonna eat? I wish it, I wish there was a cooking mini game. Uh, Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I scarfed. I fucking love that adjective. I'm gonna piss because I gotta fucking take a fat fucking piss. I'm not gonna pause the recording because we all know how that went last time. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. Let's return ourselves back to the world of ding dong, ding dong, big schlong, as we like to say in the biz. As fucking always. As fucking always. It's always a good piss. I drank so much. I'd like to say it was water, but it was mostly sugar and milk. So it was. <laughs> it's grid. I'm hydrated, quote unquote. Uh, I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could. And. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure that the volume was working. Um, as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Oh shit, that's good stuff. Whiskey. Can't stop me drinking whiskey. I fucking love sweet liquor. I love Di Serono. I'll have to wait or, or wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her or something. <clears throat> okay. 
We, this is our first free time in a little while, so I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save scum the fuck out of that shit. Let's fucking just save it there. That's fine. All right. Um, Sakura is mad. Not Sakura. Okay, well, I should probably fucking talk to... Oh no, because she's resting. Is everyone on the... Okay, so it's Kyoko. I would have thought it was, it was not. Uh, okay. <sighs> we got going. Let's let's bring out our little notepad, shall we? Let's get our notepad out here and figure out who we're talking to. M-M-M-M-M-M-M. I need a mixer, damn it. Mix it with blood. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to give everyone an even amount of time. I don't know if that's the strat, but that's what we're doing. So this is what we've got so far. Um, let's just put that there. So this is everyone that this this was this is that's irrelevant now. Um, so we'll get rid of that. Who we got? We got we get to update our dead list. Wow, Biakia Celeste is dead. I sent for Kyoko until I maxed her out. Yeah, I. Uh, I, I realized in the achievements that that was the thing that you could do, so I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure how the mechanics worked on that. Sakura, Toko, Aoi are still alive, Kyoko is still alive, Hiro is still alive, but yeah, Fumi and Taka updated. Okay. So we've talked to everybody once. Um, No, we talked to Kyoko twice, actually. I forgot to update that. So we've got two for Kyoko. We did have two for Celeste. Um... Talk to Owie again. That's what my nuts are telling me. That's what my nuts are telling me. Put you away. Oh, I, I, this is my, sorry, I didn't transition it. This is what I have here. It's my little list. My little list of stuff that's going on. If you're curious what I was talking about, because I didn't fucking show you, so. Either way, it's irrelevant now, so fuck me. All right, so. Let's go to the Muzak room. Um, I am going to... What do I have for Owie? What do I have for Owie? Hmm. Is there... Oh, you know what? I'll go check out that room again. Was it the second floor washroom? I think it was the second floor washroom. Cause that's where Kyoko was. She's like, I'll go check out the second floor. And then it was like, you did not see that motherfucker again until she found a uh, good old nut bar in the um, pool closet. Um, I guess everyone's, let's go see what the, where the handbooks are. Taiko. Yasuhiro. Mailbox. Sayaka Celeste Fumi, the handbooks of all the students who have died have been placed in here. Nice. Good fucking stuff. Clomp, 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 clomp. Yeah, it wasn't that washroom. It was the, the next floor. I'm just gonna move that down a bit. There we go. Check out the washroom. It's where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. It also leads to the secret room. I should probably avoid going in and out of there too much. Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. We're not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna read that note in the library again, actually. I forgot about that. Uh, yes, there it is, it's still there. According to this letter, Hope Speak Academy had stopped functioning as a school. And what's more, it didn't even happen recently. Apparently it closed down over a year ago. The mastermind probably took over the abandoned school in order to start things, start this killing game, which explains why there aren't any other students here, because it's not a real school. And there's serious, these serious issues that forced the school to close down in the first place. Is there any connection between that and what's happened to us now? The mastermind's motive, we figured out why they would want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or will we fucking die? Probably the latter for most people. Um, well, let's keep on moving up. Keep on moving up, baby. I don't know who I want to talk to next. I'm kind of... And now, 
I like uh I'm gonna I'm gonna theorize here, but if you know like the benefit of doing this, uh don't don't say it just to be safe. Uh spoiler rise or anything like that. But I'm 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 like thinking I should put time into talking to like Kyoko, like just maxing someone's relationship out. But I don't know if that's actually gonna have what effect that'll have on the story, or if that's gonna be anything significant, if it unlocks another ending, or or if I should really just try and try and talk to everybody that I can. I don't know if I don't know. A huge machine like this could it really be just an air purifier. Let's go check out this room. Oh, the tarp's back. Everything's back to normal, just like with Sayaka and Chihiro. Monica was responsible, I'm sure. Let's do it then. That's a good piece of advice. Appreciate it. I actually, yeah. This tarp was used when Taka was killed. There's no way you'd know it. There's no way you'd know it. You could eat off that thing, man. There's a bunch of files here. Probably old lab files or, or research data. Research data. Well, fuck them. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, I'm just going to fast travel. We're, we're only one floor, uh, one floor below. So let's just fast travel. Let's... No, second floor. Fourth floor. Let's fast travel. We have free fucking time. Uh, let's talk to Owie again. Owie's Owie. And I guess we could talk to Sakura. Why not? Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's just try it. Let's take that fucking... Let's take that jump, baby. Is there a closer? Yeah, that's, that's a little closer. Sorry, Owie got a fucking phase out of existence. <laughs> King Suckaduck. Uh, well, it's just not let me. I guess I should press the doorbell. Mm -hmm. It's you. I'm sorry. Is it okay if we talk more tomorrow? Right now, I need to rest. Okay. All right. Well, that 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 solves that problem. That's uh. Let's let's not worry about it then. Uh, off we go. And we're going to talk to Owie Zowie. Owie fucking Zowie, baby. Owie fucking Zowie. There's something telling me I should fucking talk to Kiki, uh, Kikio. <laughs> fucking Inuyasha motherfucker. Um, fucking Kyoko. Um, there's something telling me. There's something just telling me I should talk to her. I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like, it's she's gonna be like dot 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 and not fucking say anything. I'll be like, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Um, everyone's so tall. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. <laughs> Solves that problem, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Ouchie over here. The good old Boo Boo. Bobo the clown. Boo Boo the uh, swimming star. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old, but it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around, right? it's totally useless. How pithy. Uh, pushing on him doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those yeah. things? Oh, sorry. I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Ah, ah I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. Hmm. Should I talk to Hina for a while? Oh, I, I'm just gonna. I'm honestly. I'm gonna save because that last time I talked to Kiki, I tried to get. Uh, Kiki, oh fuck! I talked to. Um, I talked to Kyoko, and I was like, I was like, oh, I should say, and I gave her a present that just was not relevant, and she was like, mm. um, I know. We should try grabbing the pool. Should I talk to him for a while? Spend some time with you. Got it. You want to do some stretches with me? Honestly, sure. That's very good. I followed all Tina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? 110 fucking percent. What would you like to give? Ah, mineral water? No. Don't have any of that. Black croissant? Uh, um, let's see. A baked good made from black meat. It looks burnt, but it's actually pretty good. She loves like donuts. <laughs> I made my bath way too hot. God damn. Shit, man. I love a hot, I, I honestly, I love a hot fucking bath. That's my fucking shit. 
the latest style from Premier Gothic Lolita fashion label, Wonder Dungeon. All right. That would be for fucking gothic. I don't know. Fresh bindings. Does she like fresh bindings? <laughs> I don't feel comfortable giving anyone a thong. Figurine of the popular per TV personality hosted Lost and Forbidden Love Fantasy in Outer Space. Watch the edges. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> that does suck. Pretty Hungry Caterpillar? God, there's a lot of shit where I'm like, I feel like you would like it, but I don't fucking know. Hmm, who is she might have liked? I feel like that's Toka would love that. Honestly, thinking back on it. School Crest. Mm, I really don't know what to give her. You know what? <sighs> shit, let's... Oh! No, maybe not. Oh, shit, I forgot. What would you like to give her? I forgot that I was I was choosing. That almost fucked me up. Black croissant? <laughs> Makoto, it's like you... <sighs> Is that fucking right? <sighs> shit, man. I make up for it. In the class trials? Uh, you know, not the best, but out here? <laughs> shit, bitch. Does that mean she liked it? Oh, she's sad. Is something wrong, Hina? I've read my I've reached my Just limit. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports, can't do anything. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Phoebe, if you're if you're watching, this is this is you. Not this is not you, but I feel like you'd, you could relate, I mean. Yeah, they're honestly so much fucking fun. I wanna get out under the sun and do some laps, run a marathon. I wanna do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? She's like, she's like, Gah! don't tell me to fucking calm down, you turd. I can't do anything. If I can't move around, I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit. Is that a <laughs> doom reference? But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. Or whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? I mean, I don't know. You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sport teams in school? Six. That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one, swimming. The big one, the big one. She got to her main, she got to her main sport, ran out of juice. I think it's gotta be, <laughs> bouldering, shit. Shit, Phoebe, oh shit, this she is you. Um, your main sport is swimming, right? This, but two of the trials are so dumb. Shit, well, I'll keep my fucking eye out for those dumb trials. Your main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. God, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me to pool under the blue sky. Foreshadowing that she's gonna have a stroke. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for well. you? If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. <laughs> and I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge. I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heart uh, that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was, uh, I, but I, I could tell that the reason was Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was because how hard she could fight. I don't know, I think they missed a word in there. Um... Fight and struggle. So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. <laughs> this was 2010. Did she just call herself? Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? <laughs> Being the ultimate anything. <sighs> Honestly, probably fucking... Probably the ultimate, ultimate shit taker. Uh, okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making huh? excuses? Excuse? Just a second. Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out, but if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do oh. in here? Mm. That's a challenge. You just made an official yeah, challenge. Totally. But I think you're right. If I was to be an ultimate, I'd be the ultimate officer. Nice, that's a very good that's a very good thing to be. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Don't know who that is, but sure. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. 
All right, I think I'm gonna go do some push-ups in my room. Like maybe a th around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Did ya? Did ya, you little fuckface? Uh, I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. No, I'm gonna have a nap. Uh, okay, no. We're gonna... Uh, we're going to... Do something. I don't know what, what the fuck was I gonna fucking do. What on God's good earth was I supposed to fucking do? I, I was like, I was like, okay, now that I've done that, I need to go blah, blah, blah. But, um... Oh, that's, that's gone forever. Oh, I was gonna update the node pod. Let's do that. Uh, okay, so we talked to Owie. Oh, let me transition that. We talked to Owie twice now. Twice we have talked to Owie. Uh, I can't talk to Sakura or Kyoko. Ooh, let's talk to Hiro. I could talk to any of them. Honestly, I'm interested in talking to any of them. So let's uh, let's do that. Hmm. Owie's in the. I could talk to Owie. Can I talk to Owie again? Can I talk to Owie again? Can you talk to someone two times in a row? I guess you can. Why not? <laughs> let's try to talk to Kyoko. Let's see. Let's see what fucking happens. Where is she? She's in. I think it said. She's in the laundry room. Hmm, interesting, okay. That's good to know. Oh, she's not in here. Okay, never mind. Well, my as oh, you know what? I'll, I'll go I'll do, I'll do some monokuma, monokuma coins. Monokuma coins. Let's see if I can spam this and see. Yes, I fucking can, bachinch. Uh, let's get, see if we can't find a few others. Mash that fucking, mash that shit. Two minutes wait. What is he even saying? It's like saying, until I came here, my mom took care of all my laundry cleaning and stuff. Maybe I'll try doing it myself when I get out of here and get home. Ever the optimist. Hmm. Shit, that's fair. Yeah, okay. Swimsuit, swimsuit, swimsuit. There's really nothing else to say, really. <laughs> Stop fucking clicking on the swimsuit. Yeah, that was like me and Taka. I wanted to talk to Taka that one time after he fucking snapped, but it just wouldn't wouldn't let you, would it? What's Kyoko up to? She's still mad at me? Bravo fucking Lee, bitch. Hi, Kyoko. Hi. Hi. Go away. She won't even look at me. I guess she just didn't want to see my face. Shit. Really upset her, didn't I? I guess. Kind of a traitor trust in a way. Let's, you know what? Hmm. Let's talk to Byakuya. Oh, wow. <laughs> there it fucking is, baby. My sad, my sad face. My scared face. <laughs> that's so funny. I, that's so cool. I didn't know that you get emotes um, once you become an affiliate. And I'm really fucking about it. And yes, I am going to save scum over this. Um, he's probably gonna hate everything I fucking give him. The others have flocked together as usual, I see. But they need to be careful. Growing too close will only cloud their judgment. Hmm, should I talk to Byakuya for, Byakuya for a while? Oh. Someone's telling me Hero. It's, my gut is telling me Hero. I gotta trust my gut. I'm gonna do something. I gotta trust my fucking gut. Yeah. What's going on, Makoto? I'm like super exhausted. Let me check something here. I'm just, just. Now we get, okay, never mind. What's going on, Makoto? Uh, I'm super, I'm like super exhausted. So I hope you don't need anything from me. Hmm, should I hang out with Hiro for a while? Please. You try and cheer me up, Makoto. I'm down in the dumps and got no energy at all. I did my best to cheer up a down and out Hero. Aw. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hero a present? Fuck yes, I would. What do you want to give this bitch? 
Super Robo Justice, Super Press, a Man's Fantasy, a Wash Basin. Mm, okay, that one's possible. Stereotypical dinosaur. He would be down. But Jobo dolls, motherfucker. Uh, he would love that shit. But I already gave it away. <laughs> I don't think he'd like that. Huh. Astro Boy Doll, Hand Bra, Emperor Song. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, hmm. That'd be, this would be fucking Sakura. Solace, Diamond, Sunflower Seeds. <laughs> so what's some peanuts? Would he like Sunflower Seeds? Ration, Royal Curry. Mm, what's the thing that he would like the most? Hmm, none of that stuff. Let's try this. Is that right? Sorry, we can't let you give him that. It's what we in the industry like to call key item. What would you like to give him? Interesting. Okay, motherfucker. So you just put this on if you like taking it if it's a stereotypical dinosaur. I don't know if he'd be down for that. Um give you the power to see demons. I feel like he would he would like that. You're saying I can have this? All of a sudden I feel invigorated. I feel awake. I feel like I like you. Okay, shit. Seeing here is so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Anything spiritual, I guess that's up his right right up his fucking alley. Hey Makoto, what's up, my brother and fellow mother lover? Let's raise our semi-siblings up right, okay? <laughs> Stop talking about that. Oh, oh right. So, then. so, you ready for the next round? Never! Actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyway? I saw you doing palm readings and stuff. You didn't use any tools hmm. or anything. Wow, I didn't know you knew about divination tools. Sounds like you know your way around the spirit world, bro. Uh, I'm not sure you need to know that much to know about those kind Yo. of tools. Now that I know you're an expert, I have a question for you. A correct answer gets you another discount. No thanks. Could it be? There are 22 cards known as the Major Arcana and 56 cards known as the Minor Arcana. Generally, the cards in the Major Arcana are used for divination. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Major and Minor Arcana and the Major Arcana cards are used to tell the future. That must be Tarot. Oh, I know. You're talking about tarot cards. What? Oh, gloriously correct. I will now tell your fortune for a measly 600 bones. 600 bones, baby. Wow, really? It's something I'd never say. I've had enough fortune telling for one lifetime. <sighs> I see. Well, you ever change your mind? You know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, getting back to what I asked you about before. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you do your fortune telling? Persona. I, I know I, I, I had my tarot cards. I went to an art school, so tarot cards were ubiquitous. Uh, well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. For example, I employ numerology. Numerologi. It uses a mathematical formula to predict the future based on birth dates, letter numbering, all that. But I didn't see you doing anything like that either. Hmm. Oh, it's more of an inspirational style of fortune telling. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you and suddenly, bam, you've got the info. You're talking about intuition. How about that? Don't try and describe it using such a cheesy word. But if it's not intuition, then it's got to be some some kind of supernatural power. It's not like some occult Don't compare mystery. my clairvoyance to some occult bullcrap. I hate the occult. Take that crap somewhere else. You hate the occult? Well? Yep. <laughs> now here's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus on your reading. I use white magic to record a CD of spirit messages I received from the luxury suite of heaven. Nice. Five seconds of this baby and you'll be witnessing miracles and communing with angels for days. You said you hate the occult. The hey, business is business. The more I talk to him, the less I understand. Hero's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go, fuckface. I shook off Hero's sales pitch and headed back to my room for a while. I think that's it. That's all you got for today. Unless they're going to give you a third... Nah, no, it's nighttime. I could tell. The mood shift. No time for that shit, piece of fuck. Let's look at this report card. Um, he's dead. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Wait, I want this. 
Non <laughs> Oh, no, that's it. Um, I'm the ultimate clairvoyant. 20% success rate right here. Minimum. A mere $1,000 on an hour. Step right up. Um... Interesting, they actually show it in the other games, eh? Hmm. Uh, fortune telling has a crap ton of techniques and secret arts to it, but the number one thing is inspiration. I hate the occult, but hey, business is business. Uh, okay. Kyoko. Uh, Aoi Asahina. No, no. Um, getting sick is for wimps. When it gets cold, I shed my layers. Yeah, I hear when people whisper behind my back and call me a super spy. But so what? The best part of sports isn't winning. It's the fight. So I want to be part of the toughest fight possible. The fight for the gold. Even though that makes me a super gold spaz, I'm going to go for it. She's really, uh, really into that word. Okay. Ding dong, bing bong. Uh-oh. The stream is dying. Why is that attention, happening? Attention. I was doing that yesterday. Who's to say? Attention. Attention. I'm going to actually go. Uh, I'm going to go for I'm. I'm just going to continue this episode because I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave uh, about a half an hour or so. I guess we're going for another half hour. Oh, I gotta, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, I'll wrap up at, I'll wrap up around like 110, 115 in my time. Okay. 2010 was a different time. Yes, it was, baby. Please Attention. Gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Quickly, like quickly, quickly, quickly. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym, and he sounded pretty serious about it, too. Whoa, whoa. I better go. There's no time to think about a lint roller. Whatever, that's fine. Let's head out. Uh, okay, we just saved before talking to Hero, so that's that's no worries. Is anyone there? Is anyone out on the map? Anyone out and about uh, in this fun town? No, no, no. Soccer is there. No one there. Ah, they're, they're really just, I think they're just, just holding you off on those floors. Did somebody, uh, bite the bullet? Um, bite the dust? As the, oh, Jim's right there. Oh my god, my fucking, bro. no wait, no it's not. Oh, it's down here. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 Probably should. Yeah, man. I'm gonna fucking tear that shit up when I get there. I don't know. I'm excited to see uh, what what's what they change and all the other stuff in the other games. <gasps> You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? Aren't, aren't you glad I didn't say banana? However, I... I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura. Well, then. Makoto, if something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No. Never mind. So then. I'm, I'm, who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um. Sakura? That's a little sus. Uh, inside the display case are trophies. The last vestiges of a normal high school. Hey, everybody. Look at how many of us there are. I don't see Sakura. Everyone must have heard the announcement. And once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Uh, you're about to give us your next motive presentation, mm -hmm. aren't you? Uh, That's right. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, right. uh, you guys also get another motive, right? Um, I, honestly, and I appreciate it, but the less I know about the other games, the better, actually. Because um, I think uh, I, I, I do want to go into the fresh. I, I, I don't mean to like sound come off as like rude, but I I uh, I think I uh, I want to I want to go into those as fresh as a possible. Is, is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again. Wait, what did he say? I forget. You got us all together, parents, motive, right? Um. 
Uh, no, not again. I can't take I it see. anymore. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the total pole of life you really are. No, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. The reason I gathered you out here is that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge. Why? Your DVD copy. We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Oh, no, for sure, for sure. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Byakuya, you have already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about In it? In other words... Well, today I'd like you to look... To, I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey, um... So, guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What did you just say? Uh, he said the spy is Sakura. What, is this? what are you talking You're a liar. about? There's no way Sakura's um... a spy. Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Chills, chills, kills. Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't <laughs> wait! Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Uh, um, the heck? so what does this mean? What? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? The There's no way. <laughs> but that is what the stuffed animal said, wrong. right? You're well, wrong. he's wrong. There's just no hey. way. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Oh. What? Oh, and he was no. being serious for serious. Ogre's been working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. So you've been lying to us all this time? Huh? It, it's not true. Soccer is probably being controlled. There's got to be some some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Soccer had no choice but to do what she was told. <laughs> what are you talking like? You, you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it! I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw all that? Uh, the mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Impossible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He is right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. <laughs> How could you be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the what mastermind wants. Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay, then Sakura, if you really cut to have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. <gasps> well, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know what? that. Hmm, you don't know that? That just makes you all the more suspicious. She's telling the truth. You have to believe don't her. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning Come on. her. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? Ugh. I was told Ugh. to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 fucking degrees. The weight of those words. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're wrong! I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that. What you don't heck? have to yell. We can hear you just, just fine. Don't you have an I inside That's voice? Terrible. It's because you're not listening to Wait. me. Please stop. You don't need to defend Ugh. me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this shit. However, How do you intend to do that, motherfucker? By destroying the mastermind. Nani. I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat I'm sorry. them. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Uh -huh. Hold on, what do you mean if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But... 
Sakura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, then there she goes. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... It was night time. Night time. It's a poor nurse. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. <sighs> oh. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okie doke. Hmm. Bedtime. Well, it's nighttime. We should all go to bed. No wow, look way. at you following the rules, Biyaka Cock. Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is Don't make me repeat over. Myself. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Oh, poor fucking Qua. Why doesn't anyone understand what? her? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really what was. You fucking dumb ho. Th that's. Calm down. Let it go for now, Heina. Think about it. Thinking about talk, talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? But anyway, go to your room, cool down, and we can continue the discussion tomorrow. Mm. She cry, she cries. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the pits. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. It was over. Oh. Well, Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya said, uh, Byakuya said Sakura is the enemy. But she, she's not my enemy. She's my friend! Without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Monokuma Theater. All right. It's got a board game now, the game of life. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player touring Europe, even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, everyone was, oh, everyone's, everyone was fucking happy at the end though. Right, Makoto. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear! <laughs> Fair the fuck enough. I don't know what those mean yet. I don't know what significance those fucking have, so we're going to find the fuck out, I guess. It's... Good morning, everyone. Let's... I, I, you know what? We've seen it before, and... I've role played that enough. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Of course, it's like, oh man, I need to go talk to her. And she's like, well, tomorrow I'll be fine. And you're like, no, bitch, she's gonna fucking die. I think it's fine. We're lint, lint roll. We don't need to fucking learn anything else. Uh, okay. Kyoko's out in the hall, baby. She's out in the hall. Is there anything interesting if I go to uh, Sakura's room? Soccer now and right beside each other, so cute. I said they're myself. All right, everyone's beating up in the dining hall, but where is crazy Kyoko? Oh, there she is. She was the only one out in the hallway. Let's go see what she has to say to me. Kyoko, good morning. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Oh, really? Oh, fuck. That's actually really funny. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. You certainly fucking do, King Koto. Big Mac. Uh, um, Makoto, uh, are you okay? Huh, what do you mean? You were late, so we were worried a about you. <laughs> what a dullard. <laughs> Toko, Byakuya, what are you doing what here? The heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Mastermind's... Are you talking about Sakura? Wait a minute, bitch. Kyoko, say nothing. That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? 
Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Th threat? What is this? What? Why do you hate her so Naturally. much? Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? Uh, that's a stupid reason. What did you say? Stupid. This is a life or death. A spy for the last one. Yeah, okay. Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it that's not? That's terrible. It is stupid. You're a stupid hey. idiot. <laughs> nice. Tell him. Fucking give it to him, Hina. Before you go f too far into your argument, before you fucking go off the rails, maybe you should stop and think, think, think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to what us? The heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an However, eye. That may be part of it, but it's not the whole pisser. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion. The hatred. In other words. This right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. No, not. Would you still stand there and argue like children? But... Like, like wins. Like wins. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? Uh, she really can beat the mastermind like she said. That'd go a long way in my what mind. Idiot, you really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> Interesting. It would matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya. <laughs> In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Was that Owie? What the hell? That's fucking right, motherfucker. Tomko's fucking losing it over there. Look at her fucking go. You disgust me. You're, you're a monster. To say something like that, it should have been you. Ooh. You should have been the one to die. Shit, holy fuck. <laughs> Ah, oh, Owie, look what? at that passion. Oh, big old fat red forehead we got there. I should have died. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> and are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? <laughs> Hina! <laughs> calm, 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 calm down! That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Um, Owie. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran <laughs> off. And then Sakura broke the shit out of her frail little spine. That stupid cow! How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No, a million. So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my just attention. A it's what other people call, f call having feelings, Byakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard I don't have on the time balls. To play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> so, um, uh, you know, um, how about we uh, eat? Uh, maybe now's not the time. <laughs> Little doorknob. Shit, motherfucker. Thank you for the follow. That's fucking hilarious. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. A doorknob where our doorknob crew grows larger. Um, without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms. Uno by Uno. Carter's like, shit, man. Woo! So, what should I do today? Oh my god! Hi, Tash! Hi, Tash! Hello! Thanks, Tash, for making the count. I appreciate it. Oh, how you doing? Uh, oh, we're at the bottom of that. Okay. Bop. Save that shit. All right. Um, let's fucking. Did we ever go to the? I don't think we ever actually went to the fucking. Uh... I don't think we ever went to the motherfucking. To the motherfucking. Uh... Shit! It is shitty, diddy. Shitty, diddy, do. Oh, first, no, that's where I want. I want the first floor. Let's go. 
Uh, store? Yeah, let's fucking... Did I... Wait, how many Monaco... How many, how many Monokuma coins? How many Monokuma coins do I have? What's the question on everybody's mind? On everybody's lips? Everybody's pippy whippies. I don't think I have... Actually, maybe I don't have a lot. Do I have any coins? There we go. Let's fight. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's put all 12 in. See what we get. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that pen? I don't fucking know. Uh. Novelist fountain pen. Mmm. Once went to late great novelist. They say the writer's soul is sealed in the pen. And any user can only have can can only write one sentence. I become something not human. Great. What a fun gift. <laughs> Let's not fucking think about that anymore. I should probably get the fuck out of here. Leave the area. Fuck yeah. Wow. I've got this leather pad on this keyboard, like for like for my wrist to rest on. And I thought I wouldn't be into it, but fuck, it's it's really fucking nice actually. Alright, who am I talking to today? Um, uh, um, let's fucking figure that shit out. Ah, he's in the music room again. They're in the office. Everyone's pretty much in the, ah, Sakura, I need to talk to, oh. Yeah, we'll talk to, you know what, let's talk to, let's see if we can talk to Kyoko. Uh, let's see if we can just talk to Kyoko. Maybe she'll, uh, she'll open up a little bit, a little bit more. Probably not. Hello, Kyoko. You fucking twat. You anyway. fucking little bitch. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. All right. Sakura Ogami. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. Hmm, should I hang out with Sakura for a while? Spend some time with Sakura. Even if I don't feel like talking, you'll still stand by me? <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. Shit, motherfucker, without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Fuck yeah, I would. What would you like to give her? Hmm, I got some boxing gloves that you probably like. I didn't say before this, did I? I'll accept it with gratitude. So then. I'll never forget this, Makoto. I get the impression that she liked it. Okay, fuck it, that's good. Nice! Makoto did nothing wrong. Yeah. I'm playing time, I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. Alright, let's figure out who to fucking talk to then. Ah, right. Biaku. Okay, so let's let's... Just get the notepad out. Um, and let's get it going. So we talked to Aoi to, uh, twice. And we talked to Hiro twice. Uh, can't talk to Kyoko. We talked to... Uh, you know what we could do? We could talk to Toko. Because I actually do have... I have that fountain pen thing that I think she'd like. So we might as well just, we might as well just do that. So let's uh, get you out of the way, my friend. And let's head back. Okay. Uh, where is... Toko, king of the dogs. King of the dig, dig dong, dig a dome, Doug Dimadome. I am Doug fucking Dimadome. There she is. How you doing, girl? When are we ever gonna get out of here? Not that I'm much looking forward to. I did get out. Hmm. Should I hang out with Toko for a while? What's yeah. Fuck. Why not? What more pity? Aren't you such a good, good person showing me all this? Pity. I spent some time with Toko. A lewd smile. Not about that. Would you like to give Toko a present? Yeah, why the fuck not? Uh, what do you want to give her? What do you want to give this crazy bitch? <laughs> I'm already engaged to master, so I can't go on a date with you. If you're okay with that, I don't mind if you think about me. Thinking, <laughs> Seeing Toko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. That's good. Mm, I thought Toko totally hated me. 
but it's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking either. H hey, Toko? What's your problem? What? You have a question? You have a question for your c classmate? Is she happy? So, I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> I, I just write. I'm serialized, so I, I'm always really busy. When I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not an idiot like you. <sighs> ah, damn it, I had to go with my big mouth again. You must hate me for sure now, right? No, it didn't really bother me, but I can't believe you actually write novels and that people all over the world read them. So how do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience or are you stupid? What? <laughs> I, I told you, didn't I? I write romance novels. How could I use my, my real life experiences for that? <laughs> it's all for my I imagination. It's just delusions. Delusions that you fall in love as much as you want, even if you never do in real life. Or are you saying you can't write romance unless you already have lots of experience in love? No, not at all. It's okay, I'm used to people make, making fun of me, but, but someday I'll show them. I'll get petted pretty someday and I'll show them all. Boiling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. Toko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Look at you fucking go, shit face. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Uh, let's update the notepad. I will fuck. Ding dong, ding dong, all the fuck you want, stupid bitch. Uh, okay. So we just need to talk to... So we talked to everyone except Byakuya. Twice. Oh, nope. Can't forget about the notepad. Don't want to leave that up there. Have made that mistake before. Um, it is shitting on Twitch right now. I don't know what's been going on the past few days with my internet, but it's, it kind of just has a problem. It is now 10 p.m. as such... Soon the doors to the dining. Okay then, sweet dreams. Nighttime already. <laughs> I don't know. She'd probably judge you for it. She'd probably judge. I honestly, I believe it. She'd probably judge the shit out of you for it. Uh, I feel like that's kind of her thing. Romance novels. I wonder. How would she feel about Fumi's fucking fanfic? Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Like murder. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about to make you an extra special? How about to make you extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line, and she said, you just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. Same. But so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time. But not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image, of course. And that's the secret origin story of my God, it makes more and more sense every time I hear it. Good morning. Good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. I feel like that was your alarm and it went off at any other time than 7 a.m. Get ready cursed. to greet another bee. Day. I certainly fucking will. Here it is. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. One more time. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either. Ooh, ah. Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh, fuck, fuck my ass. <laughs> Wait, let's check the map first. It went out there. Nope. Everyone's in the dining hall. Someone got murdered. I wonder who the fuck it was. 
Dakota, we got a big problem, man. It's okay, and everyone's fine, never mind. What's wrong? <laughs> Look. Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Hina! Oh my fucking god, Hina! Are god. you okay? What happened? She she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! Why is she so alive? You gotta be kidding! No, no, she's not dope with your dad. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh, well, Toko and Hina, just all of a sudden, they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze? SOB! <laughs> Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't just totally set you on fire. Totally not anyway, you totally not adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? My or else. Beautiful I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Oh, okay then. Let's get here to the nurse's office. Uh, Come on, hero, um, help me. Sh sure thing. <laughs> I think um, Sakura's gonna fucking. Clap the shit out of Genocide Jill now. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chases out of the room as we carry Kino away. <sighs> By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Th thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it was really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know? Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic! God. It just makes you sound even more hostile. Oh, I don't know when I saved last. Been scumming it this round. What is this? Every 15 minutes, look at me go. I would lose now. But man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see someone's life come to an end. If I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again. Which would suck. I love sleep. Yeah, never mind the person who actually died, right? Alright, how's it going, Hina? Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight. And I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Reaction! Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you, I said, if you jerk buttholes around, and I was like, whoa, whoa, if you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just, without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her a dozen oh, times. Serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things get out, got out of hand, Genocide Jack got loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore because, because, because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, knew it. Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears, and just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was gonna fly off its hinges. It's Sakura, and there she stood before us. Hina, Hina, Sakura, you're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, n nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto, Hira, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> to hurt Hina, damn you. To leave me alone. Butt hurt her. <laughs> Butt hurt. Ugh. All right, after this little engagement, we're going we're gonna to call it. Just a heads up. What is this? How dare you? What is this? <laughs> I I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Uh, no forgiveness. Unforgivable. I can't forgive this. No, you can't. Uh, uh, <laughs> Here, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? Uh, S -S 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 -S. Somebody save me. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hiro's spot in the it room. Would seem... I gathered that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Wait. Sakura. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... Oh. I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. You're not an art student. Au revoir. Adios. Wait, Sakura. Ah, Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura, leaving me and Kyoko all alone. The only ones left were... 
Thank you, bro. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. You have a good rest of your day, okay? See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you for following again as well. All right. Well, honestly, that's actually kind of perfect time. We gotta, we're going to talk to Kyoko. We're going to see what's going to go on. Uh, I will uh, save that shit right fucking here. Wait, we saved so, so uh, not that long ago. What was that, 1312? Yeah, we're just going to bop that shit over there um but uh yeah this is uh this is turning out to be a uh a spicy little chapter um so we know that soccer is the spy makoto already knew that didn't want to tell anybody um kyoko got mad because of that and now everyone knows anyway and so uh so that's gonna be uh it's gonna be interesting to find out uh what goes on so we're gonna talk to her next episode gonna see what's happened uh i'm hoping what day like what what's next week what is next week i think after the first and the second like pretty much i'm, I'm gonna try to get back to my old schedule i've been procrastinating so hard it took it took me oh I, I really had to punch myself in the nuts to like do some work this morning so i'm um i was supposed to upload a video today but just because of the stream and everything that didn't uh that didn't happen so mm, it's just it's just what it be but uh we will uh we will continue this next week i think probably tuesday probably gonna head back to my old schedule if you want to see that um uh it's just on my twitch page it should be localized to your time zone too if you're not if you're not in my time zone and um you can also uh see if there's any updates about my schedule on instagram and all that kind of stuff blah 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 blah, blah. but uh for now we're gonna call it here so if you're watching on youtube uh thank you for uh checking it out i really appreciate it i uh i hope you're having a good fucking time uh because i certainly am we're getting deeper in this meat this game is like Nice and long, actually. I don't know how many chapters there are going to be. We're, we're, we're cutting down the student population. Uh, the student bodies uh, get a little bit shorter, if you know what I mean. But um, anyway, yeah, I, uh, I hope you're having a good fucking day. And uh, I hope that uh, you have a happy New Year's. Um, if you're watching this on stream, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's definitely not New Year's. It's probably a little while after that. But uh, for now... <laughs> It's probably like a few weeks, probably almost June when you're watching this, if I'm thinking about the episodes, right? I can't fucking remember. Anyway, we'll see, but have a good rest of your day regardless, uh, and I will see you uh, later. Farewell. Bye-bye.